look at this thing. This thing is dirty. Holy cow. I've been meaning to get a wash, but it's been raining for like a week straight. Look at that. That is insane. Nonetheless, welcome back to the video, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate y'all for stopping back by for yet another video. Today's video is going to be about, of course, if you've seen the title, seen the thumbnail, I'm changing the oil again. I say again because I've already changed it before, obviously, but I'm changing the oil myself. I've done it both times by myself. And this is gonna be an instructional video on how to change your oil on your 2019 Dodge Charger, GT, RT, whatever it is. It's pretty much gonna be the exact same, if not very close and very similar to the same. So what I'm doing right now is I am checking the oil temperature on my car 152 it's still a little hot i drove over to my friend's house because he has the jack and everything so i used his jack and everything last time it makes it a lot easier to jack up the car because i don't have one i just have the one that comes with the car and i'm not about to go through the struggle of doing that so it's a lot easier so i've been letting it set so the oil temperature will cool down because last time i did it the oil temperature was like 200 something and it burned my friend's grandpa's hand so I'm changing it by myself this time and I was letting it cool down as much as possible. I'm just gonna go ahead and move it to the garage over there so I can go ahead and change the oil, but I might wait just a little bit longer for the oil to cool down, just, just a smidge more. All right, so we got the 5W20 full synthetic advanced motor oil. That is gonna be the oil that you use when you change your oil in your Dodge Charger, whatever year, pretty much all the years have been 5W20. You're gonna need six quarts. I got five right here. And I got the sixth quart right here. Now, there's no particular reason why I chose the Valvoline Full Synthetic. I just think it was a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good motor oil. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if it's like top of the line like the best best but it is definitely a good full synthetic motor oil and i've used it last time and had no problems with it so it's probably going to be what i'm going to be going with until someone else tells me otherwise but other than that you do have your dry oil filter which this one is a car quest had a, a deal where you get like the uh, five core and the dry oil filter i think it was like 30 bucks or something and if you do do the car quest, the number on this one is 94010. So I'm gonna make it a little bit easier to find it, but comes with everything in there. The oil filter, I'm gonna pull that out real quick. The oil filter and the sealed rubber sealant that you put around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move around to the front and we can get started on it. And there it is. So you can see, it says right there on the engine as well, engine oil. 5w20 then you got the oil filter goes right there so i'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up and get started all right so what you need is a jack and that's pretty much it to get under the car you need a couple of tools that i'll show you to use under there but you need a jack i'm using this just to help stabilize the car while it's up in the air so it doesn't fall or anything but really you only need a jack and not even this one it can be the one that you get for your tires but it's pretty much all you're gonna need to lift up the car. All right, so where I'm putting the jack is gonna be probably right there on that hard metal piece to make sure that it's not on any plastic or anything. So it'll hold while you jack it up. Let's see if that's, that'll work. All right, so you can see it lifting up. Let me make sure that it's good. And what I'm doing is just listening and watching for any bending or breaking, but that should be a good spot for it. Yeah, because it's not, you can see no bending, no breaking. That'll be it. So I'm going to crank it up and then we'll go from there. So like I said, you don't need this other tool, but I'm gonna use it and put it 
right there next to it just in case to make sure that it holds it should be good like that all right so you're gonna need an oil pan i have two just in case but one will be enough you gonna need a funnel so you can pour the oil into the car and then you'll need some gloves got some gloves right here put those right there you need some towels these absorb really well car towels but you don't need those per se but you know those will help so let's go ahead and get under here and see what other tools we need because we need something to take the cover off under there all right so as you can see you just need a wrench for that and it has everything numbered so you can take them off in order so you got one I believe two is back there no two so you got right here one you go across two three is over there and four is right here so let's go ahead and get the tool we can take this cover off all right so we finally got the right size so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off number one. Loosen that up. And once you loosen all these up, they'll just pop right off. It's real easy to get off. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen all these. I'll hit you back whenever I got it all off. All right guys, so I took all of the bolts out. And to get this off, all you gotta do pull it out like that and it's off so this right here is what holds the oil and this is what you're gonna be taking off to get the oil out see if that'll focus in so it's right there on if you're laying on the car it'll be on your left side you can't miss it so it's right there you just got to get the same wrench i'm not sure let me see if the same one will fit i don't think it will course not so gotta go get a different one we're gonna take this off and then we'll put the two oil cans oil buckets right here that way because it will shoot out once you change it so we we'll put them next to each other right there to catch all the oil that'll come out all right so i'm gonna go ahead and move the oil pans if you put it right about there right next to the tire that should be enough i got the second one right here just in case and so whenever I take this off, I'm going to hold it here and then lower it down as the spew goes into there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is extremely tight on here. So I went and got some pliers to see if this will help because the guy who tightened it last on here, my friend's grandpa, tightened it extremely tight. And these pliers are stripped, so that's not gonna do anything. All right, so I finally loosened it enough to where I can take it off with this. And so I'm gonna loosen it enough to where I can grab it with my hand, which I can do that now. So what you gotta be careful of is whenever the oil, even though it's been sitting for a little bit, you can feel right here how hot it might be. So it might be a little bit warm, and especially if you just get done driving, it might be kind of hot. So you're gonna have to grab it real quick. And if you can't, just let it fall into the oil and then fish it out after. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this off. Let the oil fall out. And there it goes. So you're gonna let this drain completely. And it should only take a minute or two at the most. And really less than that. And like right now, I've been letting my car sit for about an hour, maybe a little bit more. And the oil really wasn't that hot. So you should be fine. 
And one thing you're gonna have to remember is whenever you're loosening the nut at first, you're gonna have to push that way. Don't pull, because pulling it is gonna tighten it. You need to push it towards the back of the car to loosen it first. Towels come in handy in case any spills, you can wipe it up real easy. And you don't have to let it drip all the way out. I'm just letting it get as much out as possible. You can really put it on right now, which I might do, but you'll see the drip start to lessen and lessen, and then you can put the nut back on. Seems about good. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back on. That goes right there. And then once you tighten it right here, that's when you want to get your wrench back out and tighten the rest with your wrench. So I'm gonna leave this here until I tighten that fully and then I'll move this out. So I think it's as tight as it's gonna go because it's not letting me tighten it anymore. So that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and move some oil out, put the pan back on, and then we can lower the car and then put the oil in and change the filter. And this just slides right in. And then you reverse, you can either reverse the numbers to put them back on. I can go four, three, two, one, or if you just do it back the same way, one, two, three, four, either way, it'll be the exact same. It doesn't really matter. And one thing you can do is you can leave the cover off while you put the other oil in, just to make sure the nut is tight enough to check for any leaks or anything like that. But I have confidence that I tightened it extremely well. If I have any problems, I can just go back and do it again. All right, now everything is tightened under here. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the car, put the oil in it, change the filter, and that's it. All right, so now I'm gonna take that off from under there, but first I'm gonna jack it up a little bit more because it does release pressure as it's jacked. So I'm going to go ahead and that. After you release that, make sure it's out the way. Make sure you have nothing else under there. All that's out of the way, nothing underneath. And then you can release it slightly by turning it. If you turn it too fast, it'll drop down extremely fast, so you don't want to turn it too much. But you just release it ever so slightly. And once it's on the ground, fully release it and take it out. All right, so next step is gonna be take the oil lid off. You gotta place that in here so no oil gets anywhere. Then you get the, this one. Pop that off. Take that off right there like so. I'm going to drop that back into there. And get your funnel right there like that. Cause you are gonna pour it in this way so it can catch anything going right there. Make sure it's lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my phone down so I can make sure that everything gets in here coolly and properly. All right, so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna try and keep these connected. There we go. And don't pour too fast because it will overflow. It is five quarts. And once this one's empty, you're gonna use the one quart have six complete quarts and whenever you're filling up the new oil it will have like a goldish tint to it and that's just clean oil the old dirty oil will be almost black that's how you know that the oil is dirty and this one's clean that's it for filling up the oil it's full six quarts the 
the Chargers take almost six. It's like five and some change, but you always fill it up with six. You don't ever want to fill it up with five. I mean, you can, but it's just better to do six. So I'm going to get a napkin to catch any oil that might spill out. So it should be good and completely filled. Now we'll put the cap back on. Like so. And that's it. Now when you take the oil filter out, you're not going to want to use pliers that have grip on them because it'll damage this because this is plastic. And there we go. It's starting to loosen. Now this is going to have a little bit of oil in it as well. Because like I said, it's the oil filter. So it's going to have a little bit of oil in there as you can see a little bit on the outside so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a towel and gloves and we'll take this off completely and change it out all right so i got everything right here got my towel dry oil filter sealant got that ready so i'm gonna go ahead and set my phone down so i can take that off now as you can see how dirty this thing is That is crazy how dirty it is. So you got that pulled out. This is the old sealant. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and take that off. Wipe the, wipe around it real good and then put the other one back in. But just for quick reference, look at the color difference. That's insane. All right, so I got the new sealer on there. We're gonna go ahead and drop this in this way, like so. And you don't have to tighten or anything. It doesn't really connect in there. You just gotta put it in there. And then just tighten it down real good. It should be good. Now, one of the last things we're gonna do is we're gonna check the oil to make sure that everything is looking good, looking right. So let's set this over here. So you'll take the dipstick out. As you see, it still had the old oil on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off. Check it, it's clean. Put it in there, let it set for a second. Check it. It's filled up. And that is it. That is how you change your oil on your 2019 Dodge Charger GTRT. Whatever model should be about the same. The last thing I'm going to do is take the old oil. I'm going to pour it into here just so I can dispose of it a little bit easier. All right, guys, I got everything cleaned up, everything put in bags and situated. The car is good to go. Got the oil in there, the new filter. Got everything ready, got everything in the back of my car ready to be disposed of properly. But effectively, that is going to end today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about how to change your oil or what tools I use or anything, comment down below and let me know. Other than that, smash that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Like I said, I am having a $100 giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to be entered into that giveaway. And once we hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, I will drop the rest of the details on the giveaway when it's happening on the exact day. And I will be announcing who is winning. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next video. I'm Ronnie. This is Ronnie's Reviews. And I'm out. Thank you.